So on the multitude, he was moved with compassion and healed the sick. The following thing he did, it says evening came. And he said to his disciples, feed them. Who did he feed? He fed the same people he healed. Every preacher preaches on Jesus, feeding the people. It's time they tell him he healed them right before he fed them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The same thing happened in Matthew 15. The Bible says great multitude came to him. This is verse 30. With them there were the lame came, and the maimed, and the dumb, and many others. And they cast them without at Jesus' feet. And he healed them. In so much, the multitude wondered when they saw the dumb to speak, the maimed to behold, the lame to walk, the blind to see, and they glorified the God of Israel. And the next verse says, Jesus said, I have compassion on the multitude. Because they've been with me for three days. And he fed them again. My brother, my sister. Jesus yes. healed them and taught them. Jesus Jesus. Yes. Heal them and fed them. More than that. I, I'm, I'm trying to show you the heart of Jesus. What a, what a healing Lord he is. Remember when he was in the temple. He saw them buying and selling. He got very angry. He was grieved. He began to push the table. He began to push the chair. He began to throw down the, the tables of the money uh, changers. Now please watch the scene, will you? The birds are flying. People are running. Screaming. Absolute chaos. In the temple. Here's Jesus. Yes, uno. Made a whip. He's whipping them. He's pushing the table. He's throwing the chair. Money's flying. Everywhere. Birds flying. Doves flying. People running. And right in the middle of that holy chaos. We see this amazing verse. Matthew 21, verse 12, 13, 14, 15. He is angry. He is saying, you've made my father's house a den of thieves. People are running everywhere. Screaming everywhere. And right in the midst of that chaos, we find verse 14. And the blind came. And the lame came. And he healed them. My brother, listen to me. The Holy Spirit puts that verse right in the center of holy chaos. Jesus is whipping with one hand and healing with the other. Say it again. You see, what we see in this portion, he is whipping with one hand and he's healing with the other. <laughs> you did it, brother, you did it. Jesus heals. Yes, When he's happy, and when he's angry. 
Here we see him healing when he's angry. He heals in the morning. He is in the evening. He heals when he's strong. He heals when he's tired. But I love this. He even heals when he's angry. Lift your hands and thank him for being a healing Jesus. He's a healing Jesus. He's a healing Jesus. He heals in the morning. He heals in the evening. He heals in the afternoon. And he heals at night. He heals when he's strong. And when he's tired. He heals when he's full and when he's hungry. When he's happy and when he's angry. He heals all the time. You see what God is like? He heals all the time. And he loves you. You see, my brother, he was angry with those that were making the temple a den of thieves. He was angry with the, with the people that, that, that were, were, were insulting the presence of God. Why would he turn tables and turn chairs and Throw the money changers and the, the tables of money changers. Why? Because the zeal of God's house was burning in him. But when the lame came to him, at the same time, when the blind came, it, he did not say, I'm busy. Come back later. This is not the time. No, no, no. It's always time. It's always the right time. When the sick came, he healed them. Even when he was angry. This, I'm, I'm showing you this to show you his heart. Lift your hands and thank him for his nature. He's Jesus. Yes, yes. Healing Jesus. Yes, I want you all to stand and call his name right now. Come on. Lift your hands and call upon his name. That's all you have to do. Jesus. Jesus. That's what they did 2,000 years ago. They called his name. Jesus in my soul. Oh, yes, Call upon his name. Call it in your name. Miracles will happen when you call his name. That's what happened 2,000 years ago. It is Jesus in my soul.